Hi again, everybody. Chris Tisdale here. Thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm going to continue my series on geometric constructions using a circle arc template and a straight edge. And the idea is to replace the compass with this new tool that I've been working on. Um, of course, there are lots of problems with compasses. They're difficult to use. They don't produce very accurate drawings and they can be dangerous. So the idea of a circle arc template is designed to um, uh, address those challenges. Now, a really um, exciting moment for me yesterday was the new templates coming from the factory. So let me show you the template and it's all printed up. The one in the background's naked um, and I'll do a basic construction um, involving parallel lines. So let me share my screen with you. This is the, the shape that we'll be interested in. It's a circle arc template. You can position the center point and you've got a straight edge here. Now, these are all marked, but you don't need that. And it forms part of a bigger tool called a mathemat. There's lots of shapes in there, but we'll just be using this shape and this shape. Uh, the angle here is about 300 degrees. Okay, so let's see this um, in action. I'm going to draw a line segment. Okay, and I'm going to label the endpoints of that line segment A and B. And I'm going to have a point that doesn't lie on the line segment. So this is like our initial data, if you like. And the challenge is to construct a line that's parallel to the given line and it contains the point C. So let's write that down so we, we, we know where we're going. Construct a line or a line segment parallel to the given line segment and through the point C. So that is the challenge. Now, this is a very, very famous problem and, and the problem has been around for thousands of years. Okay, so how can you use a tool like this to to solve this problem? Well, I'm glad you asked. So let me grab um, a blue pen and we can have a look. So the, the construction that I'm going to do is going to start in the following way. Now, I particularly like this construction. I just think it's a clever construction. So let me talk you through it. I'm going to draw up a circle arc centered at C. And you can see that the circle arc is cutting AB here. And it would also cut it over here, but if we extended it, but that, that one's not particularly important for it for our construction. Okay, so I've got a new point. Um, let's call it um, say D. Okay, so I'll make that a bit, bit more visible. And between any two points, I can always draw a line. Okay, so let me draw a line. I'm going to extend it. And then let's use brown, for example. And I can move it out like that. Okay, so now what? Well, we've got this point D. I'm going to use it for another circle centered at D. Okay, so if I place my template here, so it's centered at D, what I can do is draw another arc so that it intersects with this brown line that we've actually just um, um, constructed. So let me see if I can do that. Oh, here it is there. Okay. And similarly to before, we get an intersection point here. 
Now notice that's a radius and this will also be a radius. Okay, great. Let's call this um, say E. All right, now you might think, well, Chris, what's happening here? We're moving away from this line. I thought we were supposed to be doing a line parallel through this point. Well, now let's move back in the other direction. So let's go to our template once again. And I'm going to place it. So it's centered at this point E. And I'm going to draw another arc. Now, again, that will actually intersect twice. We've already got that point. It will give us a new point here. Let's call that um, F. Okay, two points, we can form a line. In fact, let's do that and we'll extend it past F, similarly to what we did before. So let me go back to my brown color and I'll go a bit further. Now, there's only two more steps and hopefully you can see what's gonna happen. We're gonna put a circle centered there. It's gonna cut this and then we're going to join it up. So the very last part of the construction now, let's draw another arc. And you can see, well, that is intersecting here. Let's call that, what are we up to, G. Okay, make that a bit more visible. And now let me uh, move over to, let's say green. I can draw in my line segment. And if you look at this, just by eye, it looks very parallel to a CG looks parallel to AB. Okay. So you can kind of see, well, it, it looks very precise. And I'm not sure you'd be able to to get that kind of degree of accuracy with a compass. But let's go through and actually have a look at, at how we might justify this construction. Okay, now there's probably lots of ways you can do it, but let's look for a minute. CD is a radius, DE is a radius, EF is a radius, and FG is a radius. And because we're using the same radius on our tool, all these radii are equal, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna mark that in. I'll put that there, that there. Okay, so how can we actually justify that CG is parallel to AB? Well, one way of doing it, and I'll do this in orange, is to show that this angle is equal to this angle. You can see that CE is like a transversal. It cuts both of these lines, okay? So if we can show that these angles here are equal, then um, uh, I guess you, you, you would call those corresponding angles. Then CG and AB have got to be parallel. Okay, so let's unpack this a little bit. How do we show that? Well, we're going to use similar triangles. Now, similar triangles, is very powerful, okay? So you've got two triangles here, a little one, D-E-F, and a big one, C-E-G. And the corresponding sides are in the ratio of two to one, right? C-E is twice the length of D-E, and G-E is twice the length of F-E, because you know this, this is two radii, that's two radii. This is one radii. This is one radii. Now, the angle between the two shared triangles is the same. So you have an angle in here that is joint. So we can apply the side angle side rule. Okay. This side is twice this side this side is twice this side and they have a common angle okay so using similar triangles we can say triangle c uh sorry let me 
correct that. Triangle C E G is similar to triangle D E F. Well, so what? Well, if that's the case, the corresponding angles must be equal. So this angle is equal to this angle. This angle is equal to this angle. So let me just make a little line. Hence, all the corresponding angles are equal. So, Angle ECG is equal to angle EDF. Okay, that's it. That's it. So AB and CG must be parallel. Da, 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 da. Great. Okay. So you might be thinking, well, Chris, that's great. But what happens if the, the point C is a long way from the line AB? So let me show you um, what we can do there. So let me just draw a little picture and um, I can talk you through it. So let's say I have a different situation now where this is my line, given line segment, okay? But C is a bit further away. Let me make sure I put this in the right spot. Let, let's put it up here, okay? Let's actually put it here, okay? So what happens there? Because if I try to repeat the, the steps and I start with my circle there, it doesn't cut the line segment twice, right? Well, that's no problem, actually. What I can do is, is put in a new point, say here, closer to the line, and then basically repeat the moves and make your... make your construction through this, this point, okay? All right, so that's parallel to that, let's say. And then I can just repeat it, all the, the steps through here and get that line parallel to this line. So they've all got to be parallel, okay? So it takes a little bit longer, but it's doable. Now, if C is a long way away from AB, no compass is going to open that wide. So it doesn't really matter which tool you're using. Um, you're still going to have to um, um, make this an iterative process in some, some situations. Oh, okay. Well, that is one of my favorite constructions. I, I just think it's clever. Um, you can see that the drawings are very accurate and um, the justification involved similar triangles. Okay, so let me know what you think. Um, have you used compasses? What's your experience been like? Um, most people like the idea of a circle template because it's familiar. You know, even little kids can use circle, circle templates and other templates for drawing. All right, thanks everybody. I'm gonna sign off. Um, join me again. Uh, all the best, bye.